Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, exciting day today. Uh, we've got water coming from our well today. Um, so I'll show you how we set up our off-grid uh, well system here with our 24 volt pump. So this is the pump we got uh, by Seaflow here. Uh, it was uh, fairly inexpensive, it was at 279. So that's compared to some well pumps, that's pretty good. Um, and it's not very big, I mean, you see the size of the box, but it's 24 volt DC. Uh, so that works out pretty good for us because um, our uh, our fridge and everything is 24 volts. So it's all hooked up just like you would a normal well pump. Um, and uh, we just, just dropped her down the well and sort of hooked it up temporarily. Here's our well. And... Uh, We've got the uh, the well wire, oh, dozer's helping. Um, it's just regular, uh, I think this is 12 gauge um, well wire. And there's an extra wire here that normally be used for ground. And of course there's only two wires coming out of the pump. So we just uh, only use two of them down the well. And the third one's just grounded to our well cap here. And this is sort of temporary. I got a PVC fitting in here, and uh, eventually, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get some pipe and we'll run a, a proper conduit over for it. But it's just it's just laying on the ground at the moment, and then it goes up underneath the house. What do you think, Dozer? Are you excited? These are the two batteries out of our uh, travel trailer, so. I just have them hooked up here as, uh, for 24 volt and uh, <laughs> using a light switch to control the pump. So, yeah, we're not very high tech here. And, uh, yeah, so just to see what, what kind of uh, water we've got, we ran, ran it out to our tank. So that's the kind of flow we got at the moment, um, but that's coming out of 100 feet of uh, PEX pipe. So it'll be better in the house when we don't have 100 feet of pipe connected to it. And it's, uh, well, it kind of looks worse than it is. The bottom of the tank's a bit brown, but there's a little bit of color to it. So we're gonna put some water in the tank and let it sit overnight, see if it clears up a little bit. But when you put it in a cup, it looks just fine. It's only when you get a, a uh, accumulation of water that you can you can kind of see a little bit of color to it but I'm sure we got to run it for a bit before it'll clear up but yeah so now we don't need to go get oh, get off of here now we don't need to go get uh, water in this tank anymore this is how we were hauling our water back and forth so that's pretty exciting just the fact that we don't need to do that let's see what kind of amps that pumps pulling 2.4 amps, that's right about what I figured it should be pulling. Uh, so that seems to be running really well. I suppose this is the, uh, we're just running on empty, or I mean an open line at the end, so it's not really building any pressure. I imagine if we start building some pressure with it, that might go up a bit, but uh, yeah, so that's 2.4 amps, 24 volts DC. Pump's been running for a couple hours now. We got, well, that's 900, there's 800, we're somewhere in between 850 liters. Can't get it to focus here. Anyway, yeah, it looks pretty clear. We're gonna let it sit till tomorrow, see if it settles out at all, and then uh, this will be the last load of water, I guess, that goes into our bladder, and then Hopefully we'll be using water in the cabin. So I think that's a pretty successful test of our pump. Uh, it's been running now for about an hour, I guess, and uh, no problems yet. So we'll uh, eventually we'll have that hooked into the, 
the actual plumbing in the house. But until then, um, there you go. If you need a 24-volt pump, that seems to do the trick. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.